Do what? Respect the drip. Respect the drip. I thought he said something about a chimp. <laughs> okay. They'll rip your off. They will. Um. Realistic Ricky is to us the concept of easily obtainable firearms, not over analyzing and getting super specific with all these niche barrel links and accessories. Uh, I say that and all our shit's decked out, but don't, don't buy into the mainstream bullshit is all I'm going to say. Right. And we're not harping on the industry, but you can get that restless AR syndrome where you start adding stuff that you don't really need. So what do we do in our free time to hone our craft? We predator hunt. Coyotes, hogs, uh, rabbits that taste like pee because they're That's horny. Just, I am too. That's true. But how can taking uh, like average Average Joe, Joe Schmo, a uh, American pastime, a sport. How can we take that kind of training and transition it over into a real world application? The whole recce concept and then blending it with just hunting. To me, you're you're honing two crafts, two birds with one stone. You're, you're learning how to track game and read the sign and uh, seals, you know, stop, look, listen, smell, fart, ejaculate, all those things that you do in the woods, uh, searching for your, your prey without being detected, it transitions to two-legged predators just as easy. Yeah, they're a little smarter for the most part. Those skills, and then the tools that you bring to the game go hand in hand. Yeah, and I'll agree with that. You know, he, he likes to hunt pigs. I'm more into the varmint hunting. I love hunting coyotes, bobcat, anything that's got a little bit more IQ than what I do. I get a hard on blowing hand calls. But, so, being able to call in a predator, being it out smart, something that is instinctually a lot smarter than you because they rely on their food and we don't just go to the grocery store so and it's illegal to hunt dolphins <sighs> unfortunately they're damn smart yeah not as smart as a chump they don't have thumbs they'll rip your dick off i'm just gonna go over mine real quick and then he's gonna go over his you know i run a standard 16 inch this is my you know we talk about it all the time it's, he kind of coined the phrase of 10 second gun if i got 10 seconds to get the hell out of my house I'm grabbing one thing. This is my baby. Uh, I run a 16 inch. It's got a little bit heavier profile barrel. I do run an LVPO, even though most people will tell you that they suck now and they're not the hottest thing in the world. I run a one by eight because I do run this thing off a tripod and- He's also legally blind. Very much so. That's why the shades are on. Cameras are on. Shit. What I typically do is, is, you know, not have an eyesight. I use my dexterity a lot more. So my mags are stippled. To know what round count is I on there. I have custom made braille so I know how many rounds are in it. But <clears throat> Joe tells me when to fire. <laughs> I do trigger now. I do run a little pick rail on here because you know if I am going to run a uh, a predator light underneath here while I'm running it in conjunction with my tripod or anything, the the opportunity to use it for four legged creatures absolutely comes up more than two legged. This we ran a red dot uh, system. I love them. They're great. With technology, I feel like I have the best of both worlds, especially for the both worlds being realistic and should hit the fan. You'll see a lot of similarities and a lot of the kit that we run. Um, you'll see some differences here and there, and that's personal preference. The similarities are not only because we're like-minded, but it's it's the same equation and we're, we're getting the same answers on our own time and so when you find somebody else that has that exact same answer kind of validates it um on my rifle setup you know he's running a 16 inch oh my drink wait scared me i'm peeing 
train like you fight. Dick uh, out. Dick out. <laughs> and flaccid, because I am scared. It's cold. Um, he's running a 16 inch, perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. I'm running 18 inch, perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with that. I could run a 16, um, but I run a bipod, quick detach. I can take it on and off. I usually have this in my bag, and I'll explain why here in a minute. Um, two and a half by eight, nothing, no telescopes. I don't need that much. Uh, and then I run a RDS on top for nighttime stuff. Uh, and as you can kind of see, a lot of the stuff that we hunt in is thick brush. And so I ain't got time to be looking down a scope if I got a pig trying to chomp on uh, old Mighty Joe Young here. Through the woods, Recky, you're trying to stay streamlined. You know, you're gonna go do a little reconnaissance, whether it be hunting shit, hit the fan, or anything. Like he said, stay streamlined. You know, keep a range finder. You know, that's something we both need to carry. Carry a range finder, carry a boo boo kit. Um, if we want to streamline a little bit more, we both have different preferences on that. He's gotten more into the into the micro chest rig. I'm starting to look into it. Streamline as hell, keep everything in there, keep calls, keep hog bomb, keep mags, fixed blade knife, multi-tool, whatever you may need. Or do it like your pawpaw and get you a fanny pack, son. Only yeah. real men wear fanny packs. It's it's only gay if you make eye contact or if you're wearing socks. Or you like it. Biggest thing that we want to bring to this presentation is, is don't buy into the building a gun for a mission specific thing. Understand that if you have the money and you have the time, great. But in a real world situation, no matter what, you're not going to be able to take everything that you possibly can. It's easily attainable to be able to train and be proficient with what you have and what you're accustomed to. If, however you look at things, whether you believe it's the pandemic or not. China. China. Get out and train, have fun, practice your fundamentals of woodsmanship that will also help in your real world situation. Uh, he brought up seal, he brought up, uh, or excuse me, seals. It's a great point. Stop and think about what the fuck you're doing. Don't sit there and make a lot of noise. You know, we, we just read one the other day that was funny as shit. Meme gods. You don't have to have KU camo, or however the hell you pronounce it, I'm too poor to even say it. Your grandpa used to shoot stuff in a red flannel jacket and best camo, shut the fuck up, sit still. Yep. I love you, Essay!